What's up everybody, this is Steven Zekila bringing another reaction video. Today's reaction video is Death Battle's return with Bayonetta vs. Dante. I said that backwards. But anyways, uh, to all my Cartoon Fight Club fans, yes I do know that uh, episode 43 where, it, uh, where in Cartoon Fight Club he released uh, Evil Ryu vs. Devil Jin. That came out last night. I know about it. I'm gonna have a reaction with Jacob with that one because he knows he knows Jin. I know a little bit of Ryu, so we're gonna have a competition who will win, or not competition, but just one person on one side, one person on the other, and that'll be recorded Thursday. So wait, wait for it. I'll try to get it out Friday for you guys. But any other uh, distractions? I'm going to side with uh, Dante because I do know the character a lot more. Uh, I really did witness a couple of the fights with Dante in it with uh, Dante vs. Deadpool by uh, Raccoon Studio. No, that's not it. Um, fuck. Well, if you guys know the, if you guys know the web, the uh, cartoon, uh, the fuck. Well, I doubt now know what it is. It's called the Mighty Raccoon. Uh, if you guys have ever watched his videos, uh, he did a arcade mode where he made Dante vs. Deadpool. And he did an amazing job. I would even say better than Death Battle when it comes to the fights. But I'm just saying, that's my personal opinion. Uh, you guys want to see that fight, uh, you guys can check it out in the description below. Um, but, I'm going to side with Dante, even though Dante lost and or, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna side with Dante, I just, I don't know, I don't know enough about Bayonetta, I don't know, Dante has a huge healing factor, which I don't know if Bayonetta can counteract, and I just, I've never played any, all, any of the Bayonetta games, all I do know is I liked her new look in the Bayonetta 2 more than her look from Bayonetta 1, um, no, she has gun four guns on her one two on her uh, one on each heel and one in each hand. Uh, they fight. Bayonetta fights angels and angels the size of what the fuck versus Dante fighting demons and demons the size of what the fuck. Both have guns. Both have blades. Both have special abilities and powers. Uh, I know she's a witch and he is half demon. So it's going to be an interesting fight. That is pretty much most of the data. What I've said is what I know of Bayonetta itself. I know a little bit more of Dante, but I was just equaling it out. So hopefully Death Battle will let me know a little bit more of Bayonetta. And hopefully it's mostly correct. Because sometimes people point out a lot of flaws in their um, information. But not everyone can be correct all the time with certain things and certain fights. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah... So without any more um, any more delay, let's get into this fight and enjoy this fight right now. Do, 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 For do, some do, action do, do, heroes, do, do, it's not do, enough do. to just <laughs> save the world. All right. They've got to look good doing it. Whoa. Dante, the Devil Hunter. That look anime-ish. Did Bayonetta have an anime? Oh, well, I know Dante and had an anime. And it's our job to analyze anime, their uh, weapons, armor, and, and skills uh, to find out who would win a He death had an battle. anime adaption. I can't say that word. Why can't I? Take a walk. Adaption. A Fuck! I still... That's no, not the right word. The I suck at saying words sometimes. I apologize. The bar, a random strip club, and even a run-down service shop called <laughs> Devil May Cry. But the services they're selling aren't like washing your car or fixing your plumbing. Oh no! Long as you got the cash, this shop Adaption. No. in delivering demonic I don't know if that was the right word. Who's Fuck! It's gonna bug me throughout this entire video! <laughs> His name is Dante. From Fuck. The very uh, yep. Dante. Dante's in the original. Oh, the pizza. Why always the pizza the for Dante? I always miss his, like, his pizza's father. always getting fucked Dante with. Dante and his twin brother Virgil had their first supernatural encounter at the young age of eight. Yeah, see, his demon dad was a badass who single Now, personally, I've only played Devil's, Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3. I never really got the chance to play Devil May Cry 4, so, yeah. Bummer. 
With his mother gone and his brother assumed dead, Dante was left with only one Yeah, option. assuming his Become brother is dead, because we all know that the cycle well, anyone who played Devil May Cry his already knows crazy. that he's not. Rock. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Despite the danger, How does punching it in that deep actually Dante make it start up, a really? Free spirit while dispatching devils of the underworld. It's part of his charm. Hell, when you've got <laughs> abilities like Dante's, why not be a little cocky? He's faster than the mortal eye can see, strong enough to grapple with the underworld's toughest demons, and straight up man enough to shake off being stabbed through the chest, like every goddamn day. That's thing. Yeah, that is true. He his yes, his durability is fucking up the roof and his pain resistance is really high. He will die if he if he gets damaged enough. But he can handle the damage getting to that point. And he fucking smiles about certain situations where he gets hurt. <laughs> yeah. These hand cannons are so powerful, they can each obliterate demons in a single shot. I Damn! Rebellion is a large magical sword given to him by his I can't remember what game that's from. See, there's the, uh, the uh, there's the anime He's version of uh, Devil May Cry. Throughout his adventures, Dante also collected a. It's been a long time since I've watched it though, but it was like on Netflix Devil for a while, and I think I watched it on that of first. Demons he has defeated. Remember, Mega Man? It, it's that, but on steroids. His armored Gilgamesh gauntlets increase his striking power, letting him shatter huge monoliths with a leap. Holy one shit! I kind of forgot about those. The backpack, not the devil. Dante basically throws infinite lightsabers. He's also got what an the electric fuck? guitar, which is literally electric. Ice-powered nunchucks, grenade launchers, shotguns. This makes me want to go back and play some of the. I know there's an HD collection which I never bought, but I might go buy that so I can start playing the game again. It's been many years. Where does he possibly keep all this stuff? Really, really deep pockets. Or perhaps <laughs> it's one of his styles, abilities he's also acquired from defeating demon bosses. With doppelganger what? style, he can duplicate himself. With trickster style, he can teleport instantly. With royal guard style, he becomes a nigh imperfect. All right, I really will have to and go back and play some. Down time like I know I beat Devil May Cry style. one. I don't know if I ever beat Devil May Cry 2. I think I've played most, if not beat, Devil definitely Devil May Cry 3. Transformation which taps into his demonic heritage to unleash his true devil form. Yeah. Devil Trigger dramatically increases his strength, speed, and healing power. And he can fly! Being so well armed, Dante is more than capable of handling entire hordes of demons on his own. Although this doesn't stop some of his allies from joining in from time to time. This includes Trish, a demon lady who occasionally fights alongside him, and happens to resemble his deceased mother. Talk about giving somebody an Oedipus complex. Hey, if I may quote an old family you know, saying, if she's not directly that's... related, she's safe to be dated. That explains <laughs> Luckily, and quite surprisingly, that avenue was Those never explored. boob physics! Thank God. Dante boob jiggle physics, holy shit. Feet achieving machine. One time after getting impaled by four demons, wasn't that kind of outfit the kind of outfit so that hard it like and dropped a ceiling fan pressurizes the, the cleavage? Oh, well, pizza. Oh, and when their friend showed up, he challenged them to a game of billiards. He won. Damn, I remember that scene. That scene was so epic when I was a kid. Similar to a spacecraft re-entering the atmosphere at approximately seventeen thousand miles per hour. And he's even capable of taking out others just as overpowered as himself. Like his See, there's stuff I don't even remember dead, Dante can do. Evil. He stopped a colossal punch from this titanic monster without breaking a sweat, shrugged up bombardment by See, I know Bayonetta can summon uh, her like butterfly demon queen thingies, punches and stuff like that. That right there shows that he can withstand those powers from her. So that's why I'm still on the side of Dante. How much punishment he can take. But if there's anything that could take him down, it's his own cocky attitude. In the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, there is no greater danger than underestimating your opponent. I'm gonna have to disagree with old Lao Tzu here. Pretty sure there's no uh, well, danger. I think she's like kind of on the cocky side too, or make her ass look fat. You oh no. Bastard. And jackpot. 
Headshot, motherfucker! All right, now we get to learn a little bit more about Bayonetta. Paradiso, to the demons of Inferno, there is a name feared by both the light and the dark, and her name is Bayonetta. To any normal guy walking down the street, she may look like your average seven-foot-tall gargantuan Amazon woman with good fashion sense. <laughs> Holy shit, she's that tall! One of the last Umbra witches, a clan of mystics allied with demon kind. Named Cereza upon birth, she spent her early life growing I up actually am now interested in looking into that anime. Plans. Her father, a Lumen Sage, and her mother, an Umbra Witch. See, the sages and witches had one rule to follow. Don't make babies with the opposite clan because, according to prophecy, it would bring on the destruction of the universe. So, naturally, it was only a matter of time before somebody couldn't keep it in their pants. <sighs> Pulling out works every time, but the last time... You would know. With <laughs> Holy the shit, Broken, Boomstick, what the fuck? ...between the two factions. In the end, only two witches survived. Cereza and her rival slash future friend, Jean. Hoping to prevent the apocalypse, Jean used a special dagger to seal away Cereza's memories and put her into a 500-year-long coma. When Cereza woke up from her epic power nap, she took on her new name, Bayonetta, and set out to find her lost memories. Luckily for her, she had just hmm. the right weapon for the job. Her hair! As an Umbro witch, not only does her hair serve as her clothing... Which I'm having a really hard time deciding whether or not that's hot or just disgusting. She can also <laughs> use it to summon the demon Madaba Butterfly to aid her in battle. And the this more the power that she uses, the less clothes she has. Demon to deliver devastating punches and kicks. <laughs> Bayonetta can also walk on walls and ceilings with witch walk. And even transform into animals to fly, run super fast, and dodge attacks. But her most useful technique is witch time. By slowing down time itself, Bayonetta can dodge practically anything while unleashing a barrage of attacks. Bayonetta is mm. basically a tall. All right, well, there's a there's a key she factor right there. Her ability to slow down time that might a give her the edge. That rots the souls of its victims and a freaking lightsaber called Pillow Tug. She has a bow that fires poison arrows, a chainsaw made of okay. dragon scales, a massive Holy hammer shit. that can cause earthquakes with every strike, and even ice skates, which attack with ice, obviously. But her most beloved weapons are her four pistols. That animation there really looks blue. good. Rather than swap like, between them, like I think a it's, person, it looks almost like it's made by the same people who did the Dante uh, Devil May Cry anima animation. Her feet. How does that work? I will definitely she be looking had, like, this up later. Thumbs on her ankles or something? That would gonna detract from the hotness factor just a bit. Oh my god! She's covered in hair and she uses her feet like hands. She's a monkey! <laughs> this is awkward. I highly doubt that. She probably just uses some sort of magic. Speaking of magic, when Bayonetta wants to unleash her full potential, she triggers her Umbrin Climax. <laughs> her strength See, I do know about the game, and I've seen gameplay of it, but I never actually bought the game. I watched a playthrough of it, and uh, like when it first came out, I did watch a playthrough. And I watched some of the playthrough of um, Bayonetta 2, but I never finished it. She's strong enough to kick military jets into the air, headbutt skyscrapers across the city, and even throw satellites with her legs in outer space. Holy oh, way, shit! Using which time she was able to defeat this. Okay, now I'm starting to see an even, even seconds. fight between them. Like I'm not sure who will win now. Speed is astronomical. For example, when a Lumen Sage stopped time to position newly fired bullets about three feet behind her, she managed to not only turn and identify the incoming threat, but also dodge all sixteen of them. Considering regular bullets travel around 2,500 feet per Holy second, shit. she must have pulled all that off in less than one thousandth of a second. And then there's that one time when she killed God. You know, by scissoring her hair with Jeans and punching the creator's soul across the entire solar system into the sun? Holy okay, fuck! Okay, obviously Bayonetta's feats and abilities are absolutely ridiculous, but she is sometimes rather inconsistent. Despite her reaction time, she's been caught off guard by enemies ranging from a half-god called Lobster, or something like that, and even a plant monster <laughs> that managed to grab her out of the air. But regardless of whatever weaknesses she may have, Bayonetta's achieved more than anyone could possibly imagine despite being 100% human. What is her durability? Is human? 
Dibs. All right, let's dance, baby. All right, the combatants are set. Let's send this right, to once and for all. I, I, I still have to sign with Dante, but I, I, sure I can see why this fight. is such an even fight. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's go. Ah, and the animation for this I'm, I, is fucking fantastic looking. Like, I know I said earlier that the Dante versus um, Deadpool was really good. Th this is as, like, right neck to neck with it. Maybe, nah, it doesn't seem as smooth, so it's a little bit below it. Another wandering lost soul, I see. Wow. Lost? Nah. I'm looking for something called a left eye. Care to give me a hand? Could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I see. But if you're looking for the left eye, that would either make you an angel... See, I like her design there. Like, the short hair looks a lot nicer than the bulging hair. Oh, that's a new animation that for the fight starting thing. That's cool. <laughs> Damn. Take this. The whole time stop factor, though, is going to be hard for Dante to counteract. Like, for her to be able to dodge everything he he throws at her. Ooh. Mm, what a disappointing finish. Nope. That all you got, sister? <laughs> ah, looks like you're more of a man than I thought. And they got good voice actors for both characters. I really have to agree with the choices because they sound really, really close or identical to wh who voiced both characters. Like really close. Haven't used this in a while. Still like, got it. I can tell there's a difference, or especially Dante. But but da Bayonetta is very close. Dante is a lot less close, but still there. It, it's You're just really good boy choices. Hitting a girl like that. <laughs> you need to be taught a lesson. Now this is what I'm talking about. If you like that, you're gonna love this. Your breath stinks. <laughs> but that cocky attitude is going to be his downfall, I think, too. God. Uh, their attitudes are definitely different. Hers, of course, is more sexual. This is where we part ways, love. After you. Oh, fuck no. Really? Trisha, uh, Trisha's going to interfere? That means, uh, yep, that, that chick's going to interfere now, fighting... Okay, so now it's more than Dante versus Bayonetta. It's Dante and Trish versus Bayonetta and um Oh don't be a baby. Let's fuck I forget her name. Jean. Jean. Having some guy trouble? Not to worry. I've got this one handled. Alright, I was not expecting a paid for this one, right? Come on. Oh, that's that's not fair, cause Trish, I don't know if she could do with uh, like handle John. So if Trish goes down, Dante is fucked, cause he has to fight two Umber witches. Maybe I don't know. Fuck. God damn the fucking editing for this and animation for this. Holy shit, this is awesome! 
This got has to be one of their best death battles. They came back with a fucking punch in the face. Where did you get that outfit? A thrift store? You're one to talk. That color looks terrible on you. Bitch! Oh! Trish, that was wait, more of a cat fight. Boy. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Nice butt shot. Pretty or oh. not. Don't fuck with a witch. I think Dante can handle that. Come on, Dante. Ooh. Oh shit. No, that's not possible. He's killed demons bigger and stronger, probably. Oh shit, come on, Dante! Let's go! Wait. Not possible. And he can walk it off. Oh shit. Bullseye. Damn! Dante for the win! Uh, but is Trish still alive? He still has to fight John. How come I never meet any nice girls? Chaos what? What happened? First date ever. Yeah, they even lost their friends. I, I, I think. What happened to Trish and John? Are they still fighting? Well, I'll show you how I think it went down in my new show, DBX. Oh, wait, what? Did, did you actually do analysis on your own? <laughs> Hell no. Ah, oh, shit. Fight. Ugh, you would. And what actually matters, it's true that Bayonetta's satellite... Alright, well, we'll check that out probably Dante's after this video. <laughs> However, Dante edges out in every other category. His arsenal matched and exceeded Bayonetta's blow for blow. Hell, even a giant demon like Madama Butterfly... Yeah, that... Like new to this demon I, I'm glad I called Dante, because I just saw the healing factor and the whole thing with, um... Every, like, the time stop was good, but... But unlike Dante, when Bayonet is stabbed, it hurts. That's why I avoid Yeah, that's true. But she could only dodge His durability and easily so able to like take Dante. pain is probably what only gave him the edge. Dante and Virgil obliterated each and every raindrop within a 12-foot radius, briefly creating a completely open space in a rainstorm. Up to 30 raindrops can occupy a cubic foot on average, meaning they destroyed 108,000 raindrops in less Holy than a second. Holy shit. Without any extra abilities or styles, even with Bayonetta's absurd reaction speed, Dante striking so much space in so little time <laughs> far outclasses anything she has ever had to avoid. Even when she's wow. avoiding him with which time, Dante's Quicksilver even the playing field. Basically, okay. It was just a matter of time before Bayonetta suffered the fatal blow. Well, you know what they say, hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> the winner is Dante. Alrighty then, that's awesome. That was a great fight. Good fucking job coming back with this. Next time on Death Battle. Alright, who's fighting next? Bowser or is it Mario? Bowser! Hmm. I wonder who's he gonna fight. Usually they don't show it. Well, all right. I'm 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 happy with that fight. That fight was fantastic. I was right with Dante. Fuck yeah. Um, sorry, Bayonetta fans. Um, she's hot. <laughs> In her second form, I think, more than her first. Um, but, yeah. It's just the fact that she's more human than him. She can't survive as much damage. And his healing factor and his ability to withstand pain just gave him such an edge but there's still one more fight we haven't seen and it's the fight between John and uh, uh, Trish so 
we are going to check out that fight. Um, because I got it set up now, and we are going to enjoy this fight right now. No rules. DBX. So are they going to have cameos of new characters now for side fights like this? You wouldn't know style if it slapped you on the ass. Excuse me? It was a little bit different in the animation. I don't know if you guys... Uh, there's Boomstick. So, this is gonna be... Com this does look a little bit different. But, I'm, I am I don't know if Trish can handle as much as Dante can. And, at the same time, I don't know too much of John. Like, does she have the same abilities? the full extent as Bayonetta, or is she not as strong as Bayonetta? So... Who's gonna win? Damn! Oh! Trish! Damn! Well... Sorry, Dante, you lost your woman. Well, that concludes this reaction to two videos. One unexpected. I did not expect them to pull off another video of that sort. So, yeah, that was... Holy shit, she slit her in half with her own weapon. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. That was great. Both fights, fantastic. Definitely a difference and change in the animation for uh, between the Dante vs. Bayonetta and the Jin versus Trish fight. But still good. Still got way better than anything I could do. And holy shit, I would love to learn how to do shit like that. Um, but either way, it's a fantastic job. So I'll leave a link down in the description for both videos you guys witnessed. And also that video I mentioned earlier with Dante vs. Uh, Deadpool. If you guys want to check that out, that'll be all in the description below. Also check out some of my gameplay stuff. I do do GTA 5, Black Ops 3. Uh, I recently got The Division. So I might be post posting that stuff. And for my fans of my channel who've been requesting it, I'm going to get to Abobo's gr uh, Great Adventure, I believe, soon. Very soon. I said I mistakenly said I want to try to get it up before this weekend in my last video. I meant to say I wanted to get it uh, like recorded before or during this weekend and have it up next week. Possibly, I'm going to try to have... Uh, something up on Monday for you guys so uh, if you guys enjoyed this video like always punch that like button also comment down below videos you guys want me to react to in the future I know you guys have been asking for one minute melee I'm gonna try to get to that real soon I'm gonna pick out a couple fights since they're so short <laughs> um, and leave uh, I guess leave suggestions down below again and finally, subscribe for more content and reaction videos. Till next time, guys. Later. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you want more, check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.